Okay, so this is a video about me upgrading my Arcade Legends. So I only have like a hundred games, no, about 60 games on here right now. And I bought this, a new hard drive with all the games that I ever wanted on it. So I am going to see what I can do about how to swap out a hard drive on an arcade legend. I hear it's uh, not just straightforward plug and play, but I will figure it out. We will keep you posted. Okay, I got my uh, arcade legends open and my computer open and I put in the new hard drive. And I also disconnected the controllers and put in my uh, PS2 connection for my keyboard and I also unplugged from here the VGA and plugged it into the computer monitor so now the next thing to do is to turn it on and keep hitting the delete button until it comes up with the uh, menu uh, the um, system menu screen startup screen so let's uh, do, go ahead and do that I'm going to turn it on okay so now I'm just uh, hitting the delete button until it comes up with this there we go so there's the utility screen and what you do is you go down to integrated per peripherals enter Scroll down to Oops. this one right here. Onboard parallel port. You want to put disable on that. It probably is on like 378 slash IRQ7 or something. So make sure it's disabled. I already disabled mine. That's what you do. And then you hit F10 to save, as it says right here. F10 to save. And you F10. I'm just going to hit F10. Hit yes. And then enter. Now. It's going to reboot the whole thing and it's going to say on your monitor, ooh, can't see that on there, basically it just says not optimal mode, recommended mode is 1280 times 1024 60 hertz and it has a little question mark in it. So what that means is now it should work on my wonderful arcade monitor not on a VGA LSD LCD monitor LSD boy I must have had too much of that when I was younger all right so so there we go and I am going to put all this back in the computer and then I will show you what's gonna happen on with the actual game because you have to also set it up for um, cocktail or upright depending on what game you have mine is obviously a cocktail okay here's my hard drive in there as you can see I just uh, left the old one in and put the up the old one in put the new one in and just use the same wires same as before as when it was sitting on top of here when I was testing it so now I'm just gonna stick this back in the arcade machine and go from there Okay, now I'm in uh, settings by, you just hit your setup button, and I am going to go to cabinet, and I want to set it for cocktail. So now it's on cocktail for me, and exit, cabinet setup, I'm not sure I want to do any of that, oh that's what I just did, I don't want to do anything else right now. Just uh, exit, go out to the games, okay. Now I'm going to play with the monitor adjustments a little bit because it seems a little bit uh, 
seems a little dim to me and stuff compared to what it was before so somehow the monitor adjustments got screwed up just a smidge so I'm going to do that and you can tell that it's probably a little bit wide as you can see in the corner up there and on the sides the monitor just needs to adjust it a little bit to fit into the bezel the way it's supposed to and I am going to be done at that point so so as you can see I put the everything back in properly everything's bolted in all the wires are in properly all that's in properly I'm going to uh, put all the wires back in there so it looks nice and neat and professional and blah blah and then I will just put the door back on and I will be done. Well, I do need to adjust the monitor. I swear I wanted to show you that too. So you adjust the monitor with your little your uh, CDA remote control thing right there. And as you can see, there's different dials and it kind of tells you what they are. With height, brightness, blah, blah, blah. So, you adjust it there. And these adjustments here are for the colors. So if your color is off, then you can adjust the stuff there. But try to stay away from that if you can. Alright, that's going to be it for my tutorial.